So with Danny Boy then, obviously filmed, how did that happen? And did you have other offers essentially to, to do that? Yeah, in short, I had this cinematic offer, which in the conversations that we had, I wasn't allowed any real control over what was going to be done with it. So I straight away, regardless of the names, and I'm not going to name the names because it's like, it's not been done with that many ways, so it's by the by, but I wasn't going to have something done for money when the authenticity was more important to me. Mm -hmm. And the a production company came in for a meeting. I just hit it off with them straight away. They were fully um, invested in my experiences, the authenticity of, of, it, you know, of everything what had happened and wanted me go along with them on this journey. And they believed that they could put it on as a 90 minute feature drama on BBC Two, which I was like, that's a bit of me. That is, if we can do that, then great. Obviously not really thinking and believing that it will be done because only 2% of real life stories actually get commissioned, small, mm -hmm. tiny. And especially for me, who's like just a normal guy, things like this shouldn't really happen to people like me, if I'm honest, but it was. and. Uh, all of a sudden things just started to grow, arms and legs. And then we're greenlit, we're commissioned. I get this phone call when I was in London, out the blue saying we're now moving into production. I was like, oh my God, are you joking me, really? And they were like, yeah, let's go. And then lo and behold, I'm on set. I'm on set with Anthony Boyle. You know, I'm just witnessing this surreal moment of this battlefield being recreated and seeing these incredible actors and actresses in their craft. Did they come to you and say, look, we want this guy to play you, what do you think? And we want this person to play Lucy or, or your dad? I never had any never. process in casting because I'm not a professional. I need to believe in, in the professionals out there. And as soon as I met Anthony Boyle, I mean, what a dude. We just hit it off straight away. I mean, he knew me better than I knew myself. He'd read my books like 14 times and done all my podcasts studying had my mannerisms, what a professional. Oh, he will go to the stars, that kid. Well, he's just finished filming with Spielberg and Tom Hanks. So the kid is a ledge. Even like, but Leah McNamara, who played Lucy, just played her with elegance and you know, she was just fiercely loyal and that's how she played Lucy, which was, was incredible. Alex Fern played my dad, who was unbelievable. I mean, you said, he was incredible. For me, in, that incredible the scene part. in the car with, yeah. with when you were both talking, I yeah. thought was it was really powerful. Yeah. And then the whole program was great. And I didn't know what to expect because you know you don't know what no, the TV turn oh, a program into. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, but I thought it was a superb uh, piece of uh, filming. Did you have any opportunities for locations around the world, or where did it end up in in uh, in being filmed? Yeah, we were meant to go abroad, but pandemic hit and like so many you know we had to be flexible we had to figure it out and we end up filming in a um in a ditch in Watford <laughs> believe it or not but I mean how they dressed it the resources they had was just incredible I was flabbergasted when I turned up I was like wow this is like it's like being back out in Iraq it was unbelievable so good so yeah we didn't get the luxury of going abroad, but it is what it is, you know. It, the pandemic hit us all hard, so yeah, we were no different. Where could you have gone? Was there a, an opportunity for there a location? Was, yeah, there was talks at Jordan, Morocco, mm -hmm. potentially. Um, Iraq, we just couldn't. It would be there were too many concerns, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, didn't have enough resources really for for going back out there. But yeah, I was. I was really happy with the end product. Yeah. You know, no one would have known that that was in a in a quarry mm -hmm. in um, in Watford. Yeah, brilliant. So good.